Broadcasting Network. Ethan Burke alongside Michael Ross, the starting pitcher for the Swamp Bats today. Mike, a win for the Bats after a rough doubleheader. How's it feel to get back into the win column for the Bats? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's everything. Uh, piecing together a win after, you know, tough weather, tough conditions on the road in, in Maine. But, I mean, that's a great team we just got to win against, so it's awesome. Four innings for you. Four hits, four strikeouts. No runs allowed. After a rough outing against Danbury, what changed for you this time around? Uh, not much. I mean, I had some bad luck at Danbury. Um, wasn't my best, obviously, but yeah, not much changed. I just, as soon as the outing was over, I gave it that night to think about it, and then I just flushed it and moved on to this outing. I knew this going to be a good team, so I know I had to have my good stuff today. That's pretty much it. Hey, that's what you got to do. It's baseball. Short-term memory is uh, right. the main thing to have. It's a mental game. You faced your buddy, and what I just found out was your roommate, Colin <laughs> Ledbetter. Uh, you it. retired him twice. Yeah. I mean... How does it feel to go out there, not only face a teammate and, you know, not be, not laugh the whole time, he's your <laughs> roommate and you retired him twice. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's one of my best friends. It, it's hard to be out there and not just start cracking up, but you just got to picture you in the glove. You can't even think about who's in the box. But it, as soon as he's running back to the dugout, you know, I'm giving him crap. But it, it was fun. It was really fun. Colton wasn't the only one you set down tonight. You were real good. No runs allowed. Was there anything specifically working for you? I know your fastball felt good, but what was working for you if you had to pinpoint one part of your game tonight? Yeah, so, I mean, I, I always pitch off my fastball. So, I mean, I, every time I go out there, I know I'm going to have that. But tonight, um, that curveball was working really well for me, and I noticed it early on, so I just kept going to it, and it kept working. So that was definitely the difference tonight. Take me through that at-bat where you give up the line drive to third. But your brother, Jackson, <laughs> snags it out of midair, makes the catch. I saw you guys sharing a smile and a fist bump. Yeah. I mean, how funny of a scenario was that where your brother helps you out like that? I yeah. Mean, no, I know. that. I mean, that's baseball. It just works in funny ways. But, yeah, no, that was huge. Though. I, I gave up that hit. I was. I didn't even turn to look. I was just waiting to hear the sound of the, the ball in the glove, and then I heard it, and I turned and saw him tag the bag, and I was like, that's awesome. That's great. I needed that for sure. <laughs> Mike, you're through f three starts so far with the bats. I mean, how do you evaluate yourself so far throughout the season? Not a large sample size, but, you know, entering the third week, yeah. you had three starts. How can you evaluate your performance so far with the Swamp Bats? You know, I definitely after this past one, like you said, at Danbury didn't go the way we wanted it to last outing, but, I mean, felt great the first outing, felt great this outing. So, you know, with the anomaly of Danbury, I, I'm feeling really well about this summer. I'm excited to move forward with the stuff that I had tonight, so. Swamp Bats get their seventh win of the season onto Upper Valley tomorrow on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Ross, the starting pitcher for the Swamp Bats tonight. He lasted four innings, four strikeouts, no runs, in a 6 nothing win for the Bats tonight. That's all we have, your final box today. Six runs, eight hits, no errors for the Swamp Bats. Zero runs, six hits, one error for excuse me, the Newport goals. That's all for tonight. Keen, enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll see you tomorrow.